Hi there everybody, welcome back. Um, last episode we started building our kitchen and our canteen and in this episode we're going to begin building ourselves up here. I've just noticed one small error in the fact that we don't actually have our pumping station wired up to the electricity. Amateur mistake. I like to think so myself, but I think I've just been stupid not thinking about it. Oh, hopefully... Oh, I was going to say, hopefully it doesn't switch the power, and it hasn't. But it is maxed out. So we need to dish out some cash. Just buy some more of those. Hopefully, one will do it. Just for now. <laughs> right, we've got to build some cells up here now. So, oh, we're going concrete walls, aren't we? Let's build that up here. One cell. Can we actually make those? No, we can't. Did they just look a little bit big? We're doing cells along here. It's a bit small of a shower room, but we just have shower along this wall here. So it's a bit big, isn't it? Am I speaking nonsense? Or no, that's about right. No, no, it is a bit because. This is a wall here, isn't it? So really, what could do that? But it gives them a longer corridor. Oh, we roll that. We make that like a little common room there or something down that corridor. Thinking outside the box. Right, we're going to remove some of this planning now, anyway. Small jail doors. Along here. Get them lined up. And we'll put some beds here. Just try and get the matching, you know. Looks a lot nicer that way. And we'll get some toilets. I think that's all they need. At least that way they're able to go to the toilet while in their cells. Makes them slightly happy, but I think that is one of the requirements anyway. So we put these down as the cells. So there's one thing I want to tweak. We only want to let medium security at the moment. Uh, intake, close it for min sec and just go full medium security. And we need to hire some guards as well. Staff, we need to hire. I don't know how many people we can actually have in. We'll just to do hire six guards to start off with. Hire a cook as well. And then again we need to plumb all this in up here. Just go up here. Put the big pipe across the middle. Just the, I think they can climb out of the smaller pipes. I mean the big pipes. They can climb out into the sewers. Put that there. And then we want our showers down here. Just like that, we're gonna put that out a little bit. Put out shower heads just all along this back wall here. And then we just put a couple of drains here just to just stop the water from leaking out. Right, what's the next step that we need? Oh, we need to hire at least two cooks apparently. Go. We need to. Yeah, that's our shower, so we can put that down there. All right, you shower, shower, shower. There we go. It's a picture of soap. There we go. We've got our shower. So what's next? We need to build a yard. So we build our yard out here a little. Um, we can put a large jail door just about here. And 
bit of a fence. Just just to make shift for now. And then we just build a uh fence just around here as well, just to be doubly sure that if they do try and escape. They've got another fence to go through. Do we need to just call this a yard? There you are. behind at least one door. We would have passed that then. Thinking we'll, we'll get some grass in here anyway. Maybe some just a little bit of gravel coming out. This is their only sort of fruit that they're going to get. And it is quite small. So we get some light out here as well. Just so during the winter guards are able to see. We only made the... oh they've... for some reason they've removed the fences from the inside. That is annoying. Oh well. I'll just roll with it for now. Demolish that. Let's get this all looking nice. Oh we need to research don't we? completely forgot about researching research finance there we go after that we should be able to complete that grant there the garden doesn't look too bad or the yard even they've got some freedom out there not much that we can do really just have to live with it right and we need to just get another small part there, because they seem to have forgotten about that. Right, so we've got the basic outline of a prison. They've got a few cells up here. Cantina, I said I was going to make this into a little common room. Let's do it. Yeah, common room. We'll give them a pool table. And they can just have like a TV here. TV there and just a sofa there. Just do put some phone booths down this corridor here as well. Just so they're able to ring home. Don't really like how that isn't in the middle, but hopefully when we're earning a bit more money, it'll be a tiny bit more enjoyable. There we go, we've got some fresh prisoners coming in now. Oh, there's two prison buses. Ooh, we got. Oh, sweet to normal time. We've got Mitchell. Five, eight years death by dangerous driving. Isn't like he's gonna be too much trouble. Multiple crime, but. Oh, he could be some trouble then. It seems that he killed his whole family. Not his whole. Was his family in a hole? Who knows? He says last year, but he's got a conviction for rioting and bribery, but he's not actually being sentenced for his killing his whole family. I suppose killing a hole isn't much of a crime. Right. There's no prisoners assigned to eat at this canteen. Surely they're going to eat there. Got no idea. We need to. Oh, we need to make a storeroom. Otherwise, they're going to keep leaving boxes everywhere. We'll make this into the storage. Uh, one thing we do need is uh, metal detectors. They do use quite a bit of power, but it stops them from sneaking sort of unwanted items like knives and things into their cells. So if we do that, we'll put a brick wall around there. That means they can't take anything up here. Maybe it looks like they're being welcomed to their cells now. It's probably got the fog of war, which means we can't actually see everything. Got well, then out you go. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, I wouldn't be happy with it, but if you're a prisoner, you can't really be picky. 
Alright, it seems they can carry them all the way around there. We can just open that for them. Alright, so we've got the workings out of the prison. Seem to be cooking alright. Um, what do we. Yeah, we're gonna need to put something down here because otherwise that is gonna cut out soon. Let's put another capacitor on there. What grants have we got? Uh, it was in reports, wasn't it? Grants. Inmate. So we need a medical ward then. I have a feeling that we should just build it off here because it is for the inmates. So let's get our concrete out here. Probably gonna be a bit too big, but we can always split this off into two things because they might need a washroom, laundry, something like that. So we've always got space to expand now. So if we speed ahead now. We've got a few prisoners making a little bit of money. We're making a grand a day, which isn't too bad. Having very few prisoners and cause too many problems. Alright, so as soon as we get this up and running, we can start sorting our medical pay out. Actually, that's going to annoy me there. I want to bring this out one more. Because I can see what's going to happen. <laughs> it's going to have an odd bit. Alright, you know, we'll build a large dead. Oh, we just actually can just build a door here in the medical box. Board. Off they go for uh, dinner. We're going to be well fed. Doesn't know. We're one meal short. Sucks to be that guy. There is like a little bit of streaky bacon left, but I guess he didn't really want it. Right, we need to split this off anyway. That'll be big enough for a medical ward. Right. Oh. Oh yeah, the fog of war. Medical. Was it just under ward? Medical. Ah, oh, I don't know if it's just me. I can't find medical ward. Now that is annoying. Let's do that with it. Um. Org. I may just be being stupid. But. Oh, it's there. What does he need? I require help. Can I. Research that yet? Help. Okay, so I've actually got to. I can't account it now anyway. Staff. Accountant. No, not. Why didn't let me. Why didn't let me. I don't know. Oh, she's costing a bit of money, but I suppose we can afford her if she's gonna. She's gonna pay us. Well, no, keep us in the keep us in check. We can afford to pay her. I don't really know what she does, but it seems to be one of the requirements. Right, what should we do? Put her just put a staff door here for now until we decide what we want to do with that. How are the prisoners doing? Why are they unable to be assigned to a cell? There's a cell there for them. What's wrong with that cell? Got ten cells. Ah, oh, look at them. They seem to be sitting there watching, catching up on uh, extenders from last night. Right, actually we could turn up here into uh, solitary because that's something that we need. How many can we fit in? We can start off by just... Do we only need one square for solitary? Look at that, perfect. We need a hub. I hate that. Oh, what happened there? Oh, that's annoying. It's solitary anyway. I suppose at some point we can use this just for a corridor, maybe a cleaning cupboard or build a new storage room on the end here. We do definitely need a cleaner though. We're not, I've got, I require cleaning. Of course I require cleaning. Have I got health yet? Nope. 
Where is cleaning then? Maintenance. Ah, oh, so the prison's gonna be dirty for a while. <laughs> for some reason, we're not making food for one prisoner. Is that because he can't be assigned to a cell? But I don't understand why. Makes no sense to me. Alright, hopefully they can build some solitary up here now. Let's get some solitary doors. Placed up here. Oh, of course you're locked in there, can't you? Alright, let's get you a door on there then. Room solitary. There we are, that's sorted. So in the next episode I will finish building the solitary up here and hopefully we're going to expand our prison to fit more prisoners. Oh, and it looks like that bug has been fixed now anyway. But yeah, hopefully in the next episode we're going to expand the prison a bit more and get more prisoners in. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.